Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. I'm ready to carve series number three. This will be uh, um, tape number 12, uh, part one of the painting. So um, we're going to paint him similar to this guy here that you see. Uh, the first thing I want to explain really quickly to you is uh, what we use is we use what's called a wash. If you're not familiar with that and this is your first Santa you're working on, all it is is a mixture of paint and water. And we water it down to get it to a certain consistency that you can still see uh, the wood and everything uh, through the paint. Um, you know, you can see the wood a little bit in here yet. Uh, the white, not as much as you can with, with the red. Um, so that's how we're going to paint him is that with washes. I don't do anything to pre-seal um, it or anything like that. I've never gotten into it. And the paints that I use is acrylic. They're just uh, little paint tubes you can buy at any AC Moore or Michaels or any of the hobby shops. Uh, the brushes that I use, I usually like a flat brush, you know, like this one here. Or... Um, or this wider one here and a couple of small ones for details for the eyes and stuff. Okay, so let's start. I always start with the white. Um, so I'm going to take a flat brush, this one here, the about uh, maybe three-eighths of an inch wide. And we're going to go ahead and start um, taking care of all the white that you see on this Santa is what we're going to do on this one here. And this time, folks, I'm going to try not to hit the other, the good Santa with the paint like I did last time. I socked one in the nose. If you want to see that, you'll have to go back to Series 2 to see that. So let's just start painting. This is the top part of the furry part on his hat. So you're going to paint that. You're going to be very careful getting close to everything. I always find it's easier to paint the white than the red uh, first. It just is a lot of detail stuff. It's a little smaller, but anything you can't reach, you go back to that smaller brush and you do the corners. Like, I won't get all the way in here with this. I have to use the other brush. Uh, you're going to do the mustache. I'm going to do half of everything. You can do the other half offline. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then you're going to do the beard. All right. I'm taking one step at a time so we'll get his face done. Um, so up here I'm going to take a smaller brush when I'm off, off the video and work on that a little bit better. Um, I've been getting some really nice comments from everybody. It's been great doing this. I don't know if I can keep going at the pace I'm going here. I'll end up going back to work this coming week. Been off for a little while. Um, busted my kneecap on the ice so the ice is a dangerous place um, I broke it in four so I've been out of work for a little while here and decided to do when I finally felt better I, the last three weeks I finally started doing some Santas okay so that's the eyebrow the top the 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 white on the beard and we're going to do the white here on the jacket and remember that follows all the way around Okay, and remember you have to clean everything off. Don't have any pencil marks or anything like that. Um, on the white portion, you can use an eraser. Just make sure you blow off all the the little rubber things off. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up rolling that with the with the paint. Okay, so we're going to do all the white. And the other thing we're going to do, so we're doing the hat, the mustache, the beard, this portion here and then do it all the way around when you're done and then what we're also going to do is that tassel on the back that needs to be white okay nice thing about the flat brush you can get up pretty close to things as you can see I just did here see alright turn that over and I'll do the other little portion of this so, you know, take your time, don't hurry. I'm hurrying because I'm on a tape here, but, you know, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to email me. Um, I'm going to try to do a couple other projects and just Santa's. Um, still thinking of doing that 
uh, chickadee. Don't know how I'm going to do that yet. We're still pretty well wrapped up in the Santa. And you're going to do the the pockets, okay? Now down here on the on the legs, you're going to do uh, the white portion, this portion here, okay? That's what we're working on. I'm going to put him further away so I don't hit him again. That's kind of funny last time. I actually laughed a few times about that. I still do. Okay, so you're going to go all the way around and do the white. Alright. Do the white on the coat. Um, the last thing we need to do, now you clean off your brush. That's why you have your water here. Don't forget to have a jar of water. And the next color we're going to use is, um, well, we're going to do the white for the eyes. So I'll show you how. Now when you load up your brush, folks, with, with this, take off some of the excess of that. You go in there and you start in the center and you work your way out. Okay, you work it up because you want to try to get it near that near that um, near the top there, but you don't want to hit anything else. You're going to try not to hit anything else. Let's see if I can bring this up a little closer to show you. Let's see if it's in the camera. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you want to do. And you want to flip it around and do the other. So when you're offline, finish up the eye, the eye, the other half of the face, and finish up the bottom part and all everything that needs to be white. You need to finish up offline, okay? And then when we come back, we'll start with the red, and I'll tell you how to mix that. So really, you've got to practice a little bit about mixing this stuff. These jars you can buy at AC Moore or any any uh, hobby shop. They're just paint jars. They're great. They don't tip over like some other jars. This is also a little paint jar, but I like these wider ones. Uh, they just are much better to shake things in and, you know, mix that paint up. So we'll catch you next time. Thank you.